Bien. Nos vamos acercando a la recta final. Vamos a esperar unos segundos. So let us now wait for a couple of seconds to wrap up. Great. So I'd like to invite Ricardo Patara from Nick PR, who will be announcing the venue of our next event, LACNIC 40, LACNOG 2023. Welcome, Ricardo. Good afternoon. I'm going to be speaking in Portuguese now. This has to do with the announcement that involves Brazil, so I thought it would be good to speak in Portuguese. Good afternoon. I'm Ricardo Patara. I work for Nick.br. And on behalf of Nick PR, first of all, I'd like to thank you and say that it is for us, it is a great pleasure to be the host of a LACNIC, LACNOG event in Brazil. LACNIC 40, LACNOG 2023 will be held in the city of Fortaleza Sierra in Brazil between October 2nd to the 6th. 2023, the last LACNIC event in Brazil was held six years ago. This was in May 2020, 2017 in Foz de Iguazú. Those who were there will recall that this led to an increase in the number of participants in LACNIC events prior to that in 2010, in the month of October. There was a LACNIC event in Sao Paulo, but that event was organized together with LACNOG. The first in-person LACNOG event considered the launch of LACNOG. This was 13 years ago. Prior to that, in 2008, in El Salvador, Bahia, we organized the first LACNIC event in Brazil. So, in Fortaleza, in addition saying that this is a city with beautiful beaches and many interesting activities, Fortaleza plays a very important role regarding internet in the region. The 16 fiber optic cables that reach Brazil, 12 reach Fortaleza. So 75% uh, Fortaleza has an IX. This is the second largest in volume in terms of participants and the third in traffic volume more than 600 participants and traffic peaks of four terabytes per second so this is the ix that had the highest growth rate in recent years now speaking about ix's it is very important to mention the activities carried out by nick.br the 20 terabit per second mark was reached in 2021, and this is considered the largest traffic in the world. To collaborate in this presentation, I'm going to ask you to share the videos with us. The first one has subtitles in Spanish, and the second in Portuguese, which speaks about the infrastructure. So this will be clear for all of you to understand. So let's have the videos. Come here, sand, see, seashore, the sound, dancing. Come to Fortaleza, smiling and Romans, fun, uh, warm. Come to Fortaleza, come, come here, come to Fortaleza, come to Fortaleza. Everyone is coming to Fortaleza, the tourist capital of northeast of Brazil. So don't miss this. Come to Fortaleza. Prefeitura de Fortaleza. Municipality of Fortaleza. A future of digital transformation. Subsea cables of optic fiber. High speed cables strategically located. Connectivity that reaches all the state through a digital belt, creating the basis for a technological 
innovation system with an enormous potential. So this second video is interesting because in addition to tourism, this also refers to the important role we have regarding our activities and to complete this, let's see that, let's say that LACNIC, LACNOG events are very important. Also for the local community, this provides training activities, updates and strengthening the community overall. So really appreciate the opportunity of having to host this event in Fortaleza. So see you in October in Fortaleza. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ricardo. So to close now, I would like to invite Pablo Alvarez Fernández. Geraldo Vela Monsorte, Director General of Research and Innovation, uh, as yet, and the member of the board of LACNIC, Carmen Denis. Welcome. And first of all, let us give the floor to Pablo to start with the closing ceremony. You have the floor. Thank you very much. Nothing that starts a good project also has a good end. And there's something that I note in every single e person who was involved with this event. People seem to be very tired, quite exhausted, but an enormous smile on their faces. And that expression that I see on your faces, particularly on the faces of the organizers, who we thank them immensely for what they have done, is something that I also noted in the networks, in the media. Right from the very first day, I checked in Twitter. And the expression of people around all this event is really amazing. And this is the basis of a community. A community is based on trust. A community is based on work. A community is based on wishing to be able to do things and to do these things. You wish to have a better internet for Latin America and the Caribbean. You're really investing your time, and that is the capacity of doing things. Now, the decision to come to Yucatan is a decision that might be in the hands of a committee, but the decision of a community to come to Yucatan and to make this the largest event that LACNIC has ever had can only be reflected in tired eyes, but in a wonderful smile that reaches the heart. So this is what will be, Im be, uh, be imprinted here, but that is the basis of a great event. It is a basis of a strong community on behalf of the government of Yucatan and particularly of the research and development organizations that co-organized this event. But uh, basically, as a host that lays the table so that you can have a wonderful feast, the words we have are of thanks. This has an effect on education, on the society, on the business, but also on the future of Latin America. Thank you very much and welcome whenever you wish to return. Thank you. Now I invite Gerardo to take the floor. Welcome, Gerardo. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Good afternoon again, everybody. It's an honor for me to be here to close this extraordinary event, uh, this uh, LACNIC 39. And I personally want to thank, uh, not only personally, but also in the name of the government of Yucatan, I want to thank LACNIC for having uh, chosen Yucatan and uh, more specifically Merida for this uh, event. I hope that both the city and the state met your expectations. I think that an important part of having events like this is to get to no new places, and I hope that you enjoyed Mer Merida as a city. And I hope that many of you may stay to uh, 
uh, enjoy Merida and uh, that you may have had a chance to know uh, the hospitality of the people of Yucatan and give us uh, an opportunity to make you feel at home. As Pablo just said, if you can come back, you're invited to come back as many times as you want. We would love to receive you again. I am sure. And I even have uh, uh, data confirming that, that I just received that LACNIC was a great success. The uh, meeting with more participants so far, and that is great news both for you and for us. The hundreds of people got here together, both uh, in person and uh, via Zoom, to, to discuss uh, governance and development issues uh, for the development of Internet in uh, in Latin America, the Caribbean. So anybody, Pablo said that anybody who is uh, attending this uh, an event like this, it implies that uh, people had to sacrifice something to come here, their time, their money, other commitments. Certainly it's happened to me, but maybe you missed uh, one of your children's birthday or your spouse, your mother, I don't know, you 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 uh, missed something, so you sacrificed something, and not just money. The matter, the fact that and, and the the fact that you sacrifice something is that you care about events like this. You care about this, and you uh, um, can contribute to build a better world. If it's a, a medical conference, is to develop better uh, techniques for health, and in your case, to build a better world in Latin America and the Caribbean uh, through. Improving the internet. So I personally thank you for your work so that my family, my children may have an increasingly better world with better education, better health. And you are the ones who best know that the impact of the internet touches upon all the uh, corners of our lives. This meeting made it also possible to show that Yucatan is a state with experience in the internet and it enables us to uh, establish connections and uh, help in networking. And I'm grateful for having chosen it. I want to thank LACNIC and Carmen, as Pablo said. We really try to set the table for you to organize this extraordinary banquet. I want to thank all the team of LACNIC and I wish you a safe and a happy return back home. And I again tell you that our doors are open when you want to visit Yucatan again. Thank you. Thank you for your words, Gerardo. Now I invite Carmen Dennis to uh, join us here because we are going to uh, give an acknowledgement to the government of Yucatan and Carmen is in charge of that. Ah, it's good that I have my glasses. Oh, good afternoon. In the name of LACNIC, this wonderful organization, please. Uh, can you? So, uh, this was typical of Yucatan. So, in the name of LACNIC, I want to thank you. This is a very simple but warm recognition to all the work behind all this, as Pablo Guinardo said. They worked for many months, and in the name of uh, LACNIC, we want to thank the government of Yucatan as the host of their 39th uh, meeting and for your valuable contribution to LACNIC 39 in Merida and Yucatan from May uh, 8th to uh, the 12th, uh, 2023. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, LACNIC. Thank you, Carmen. Now invite you to take the floor again. Thank you. Well, 
very dear friends, colleagues, for many, many of you, I can already call you family, members of the Internet of Latin America and the Caribbean, after a family of uh, tutorials, technical presentations, many network and meetings, many encounters among friends, it is time to close this marvelous and magical event. It's a pleasure and an honor for me to know that the 750 participants that attended and more than 500 that um, were present these five days online, that you could um, make most of um, this time that uh, in which you had different activities and each of us going from one room to the other, from one uh, dining room to the other. We want to highlight what was done. There were seven modular tutorials on Monday and Friday, including IPv6, interconnection laboratory, geolocation, IRR, RPKI, among others, with a lot of engagement by the community. More than 15 technical presentations in the LACNIC and LACNOC technical forum, and that uh, um, encounter of uh, the Mexican community, Mexico present, past, and future, with a wonderful participation. And we have some homework that give uh, meaningfulness to that. Um, there was also a cybersecurity panel previous uh, to the opening, and the public policy forum with five proposals that had received a lot of feedback and a lot of discussion. And for the first time, we, the buff of measurement with an extraordinary um, support. Uh, RISE conference and training, peering forum, uh, LAC uh, CSERT uh, was uh, for the first time. And finally, I want to thank all those of you who made it possible to organize this event. So first, the host, the government uh, of the state of Yucatan, whom we just thanked. But I also want to thank the um, trainers of the tutorials. Many of them are volunteers in the, pub the chairs of the Public Policy Forum and all the community that is so willing to uh, participate. We want to highlight everybody that gives support, services, logistics to make these events more accessible and interactive and finally of course I want to thank all the volunteers and all the community members that made all this great event possible and of course the sponsors and our very dear staff of La Clique. So as uh, Carlos just said, we invite you to attend LACNIC 40 uh, so that we can arrive uh, there in October from the 2nd to the 6th in Fortaleza, Brazil. Thank you. Thank you, Carmen, for your words. And now, yes, the very final stretch we want to thank you for participating in LACNIC 39, and I hope you could do the most of all the activities of the agenda and the networking sessions. With this, I say goodbye. See you at LACNIC 40, LACNOC 2023 in Fortaleza. Thank you all.